Okay, so we are now going to try, I think it's page 96 in our red book. There are three acid-base questions in there. This is going to be the first one. So again, it is written for first principle maths. We set up our table, it's really important. So we go attic and we go basement. And again, the reason we're doing this is because when we go to redox, we don't have acid and base. So if we can always think of things in the context of what do we put in the attic, what do we put in the basement, we're always looking for a volume, a concentration in moles per liter and the ratio from our equation. So how do we figure out what went in the attic? The number that's going to be in the attic will not be um, a perfectly whole number. It will always have a, a decimal in it. So when we're looking at the screen, here is the, oh, apologies, here is the, it would be the sulfuric acid in this instance is the thing that is going to end up in our attic. So they are the numbers that we're looking at. So we have 11.5 centimeters cubed. We have a 0.5 big M concentration and our ratio from our equation for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. We're then looking at what are the other numbers that are left. So we now have, in terms of our other numbers, we have the 25 centimeters cubed of our base and we have um, the ratio from the equation, which in this case is two. Okay, so what are we going to be doing? We are be going to be doing our W mats. So every time we go down, we start at um, big M moles per centimeter cubed. When we go down, we're doing dividing. So we're gonna divide by a thousand here to give us what's in one centimeter cubed. When we go up, we're going to be multiplying by our tighter volume. Across here, we're going to use our ratio. When we're coming back down, we're going to divide by the tighter volume of the other thing in our titration. We're going to find out what is our moles in centimeters cubed. And then finally, when we go up again, we're going to multiply by a thousand. Okay, so we also know that the left side, right side, so this portion going this way and this portion going this way. These are, it is a play on our fourth triangle, which is our big M, our volume divided by a thousand and our moles on top. Okay, so we look at what we have. This is what we're calling the way in. That's where we're going to go. This is going to be our question mark. You'll have noticed I didn't look at anything in terms of what it says in the question with regard to calculate here. I've just found my information and I'm going to go for my first principles, my W, and then I'm going to go into my mass triangle. So to start with this, the, the way that we always start is we just is describe what 0.5 big M is, and that is 0.5 moles in a thousand centimeters cubed. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we are coming from the top left of our W down to the very bottom. We're going to divide 0.5 by 1000. And when we do that, we should get 5 by 10 to the minus 4 moles. And that is now in a centimeter cubed. We then have to multiply by our tighter volume, which in this case was 11.5 centimeters cubed. So Exponential negative 4 by 11.5 is going to give us 5.75 by 10 to the minus 3 moles. And this is going to be in the 11.5 centimeters cubed. So I always just put TV to remind myself this is my tighter volume. I now am going to use my ratio. So the ratio in this case that we're interested in is 1 is to 2. So we know that 5.75 by 10 to the minus 3 moles, that is going to be worth one equivalent. So then we multiply it by 2 and I end up with 1.15 by 10 to the minus 2 moles. And that is now going to be in my 25 centimeters cubed. Now, I am converting all of my numbers to scientific notation. Okay, so this here is scientific notation. Whatever number your calculator gives you, if it gives it to you in fractions, you can use that. Don't change it, just use it as your calculator gives it to you. So once I um, 
use my ratio, I am now at this point over here. So here I'm going to divide by my tighter volume. So we take our 1.15 by 10 to the minus 2. I'm going to divide it by 25. When I do that, I get 4.6 by 10 to the minus 4 moles in a centimeter cubed. And then to finish off my piece of maths, so I'm down here, we're now going to multiply by 1,000 to get me to my end. So 1,000. So when I do that, we get 0 0.46. And again, just to remind you, we look at the data table to see our significant figures. So up here, the 11.5 is technically three significant figures. If in doubt, you default to three significant figures. This answer to three significant figures, we would add an M in just like that. Or sorry, a zero in here because this zero is significant. So I have one, two, three significant figures. Still haven't looked at my question in terms of my annotating. But for now, I'm going to convert my 0 0.460 moles per litre. I'm going to convert that into grams per litre. To do that, we use our mass triangle. So the 0 0.460 is going to go over here. I need to calculate for myself a uh, relative molecular mass. We are looking at sulf no, we are looking at sodium hydroxide. So again, we show our examiner everything. So Na is 23, oxygen is 16. This is one. This should come to 40. So now that I'm ready to do that, we're going to get rid of here and I'm going to put my multiplied by 40 in there. So multiplied by 40, and when I get my final answer, in this case, it turns out as my mass, which is what goes in here, and I calculate that it is 18.4 grams per litre. That is three significant figures. That is now done. So we say, do your W first principle maths, do your mass triangle, go back and have a look at what it is that we are doing. So it asked for part I, moles of sulfuric acid at our end point. So our moles of sulfuric acid at our end point is what we had in our attic. So this would be the answer to part I, if you're going to annotate it. It then asked, what was your moles of sodium hydroxide? This is after we've used our ratio. So this now becomes two. It then asked you to calculate your sodium hydroxide concentration in moles per liter. So again, this is now our big M, our moles per liter. So this is three big M and the 18.4 here is also a three. So again, if you cannot follow the steps up here where it's asking you to do these things, then you just do your maths, leave it unannotated and you're, as long as you go down a page and your examiner can follow it, they will happily give you the maths. <laughs>